Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you an alternative to petri dishes. So here I have a couple of petri dishes that I bought off of Amazon and one piece cost me like one euro so they are quite expensive but they are working and they are great. Uh, so here I have a petri dish with shiitake mushroom, uh, this one here is king oyster, this one is reishi and so on and so forth. So I have many different kinds of mushrooms right here in these uh, petri dishes. Now the thing about petri dishes, although they work great, is that they first of all are expensive and I want to save some money. So that's why I want to find an alternative. And second of all, they are also made from polypropylene. So you're going to um, produce a lot of trash if you are inoculating your substrate blocks on a regular basis. So I have a real bad consciousness about um, using these petri dishes and this is why today I want to use an alternative and the alternative that I have here is bone mason jars and these are the flat ones which have a very big mouth and today I want to put some grain spawn into those jars and I want to yeah, grow my mycelium on rye. And this here is some rye which I have cooked today. So here you can see the rye grain and I've cooked it for about 20 minutes. And then I used the sieve, I poured away the water and now we have this uh, rye grains here. Now the only thing is they are a little bit wet at the outside and that's not good because then you can get uh, mold on your grain. So it's better to just let this dry maybe overnight or today I'm just going to use a towel and I will wipe off the rye grain and try to get it more dry. So it really should be dry otherwise you might have a problem inside of the jar. Okay so I'm going to use this old rag to clean off the grains a little bit and to dry them off. Okay I think this is good enough and now I'm going to fill the jars with about one tablespoon okay next here I have a pack of nutritional yeast and um, mushrooms really love it it has a lot of vitamins a lot of energy so um, if you mix this into your substrate or into your uh, petri dish then you certainly will have better results than without the stuff so this is really great I love it and now I'm going to add a little bit of this nutritional yeast to each of the jars okay so here we have our jars and how they look like with the nutritional yeast and now we have to close the lids and I've punched a hole into the lids so that the mushroom mycelium can breathe. Okay, last but not least, we need to um, close the holes with some micropore tape. Uh, this is important so that the content of the char stays sterile. And then I just rip off two strips per hole. And this will prevent any germs, bacteria or other mold coming and entering into the char. Time for the pressure cooker. So unfortunately I can only fit six of the chars and you have to make sure that the valve is not disturbed by the chars. So if this sits here it should be okay. Okay so now we have to wait until the valve rattles and then we have to um, turn back the stove to about half of the heat. Okay, it has been 45 minutes. Now I turn off the stove and I let everything cool off and then um, we go back down into the basement. Okay, so now our pressure cooker has had time to cool off again. Uh, now let's open this up. And here we have our sterilized, enhanced, 
grain spawn that I want to use for uh, as replacement for agachas. Okay, so I'm about to inoculate a substrate block, but first I want to take one of my shiitake agachas and I want to cut out one small piece and throw it into my new um, agar char that I have created here. But first I need to sterilize everything that is here in my self-built uh, laminar flow hood. So I'm just taking this bottle of isopropanol and I spray everything inside of this box here. Okay, so here we have our sterilized grain and inside you can see one small piece of shiitake mycelium. Okay, now it's exactly 21 days later after inoculation of this small um, grain spawn with shiitake mycelium. And now let's take a look. So here you can see that the mycelium has overgrown almost all of the grain which is inside of here. So you can see some really healthy mycelium growing inside and also you can see that the uh, agar was dropped right here and then from here it was spreading out in a circle. So yeah, really beautiful mycelium. We can see some long and healthy um, fibers that are growing through all of this grain and also the nutritional yeast that we used inside of this char. It's still sterile inside and next time I want to inoculate some substrate I can use this char, shake it up and empty the contents into the substrate block. So this is how you can make yourself a healthy and environmentally friendly alternative to agar chars. You don't need any agar, no mixture needed, you just need some some kind of um, wheat or even rye or other grain and a little bit of nutritional yeast and your mushrooms will love it. Okay guys, so this is it. I really want to thank you for watching. If you want to see more content about how you can save money by growing your own mushrooms, then make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned.